Townscape is defined by Cullen as the process of giving visual coherence and organisation to the various different layers that make up the urban environment. If these elements are arranged correctly, they can release drama and excitement. Therefore, the aim of this project is to analyse to what extent this phenomena occurred. A route was devised through the town centre with several different sections, which all have unique features and characteristics relating to the townscape and will now be further examined. At the start of the route is Queen Street. Here the floorscape is completely flat and the road and the pavement sections are made of a similar material, meaning Queen Street feels very open and inviting. However, passing buses tend to dominate the space, meaning that pedestrians can temporarily feel enclosed. Queen Street is a curved road, and as we progress along it, the spire of Brassnose College gradually comes into view, which is a classic example of serial vision. At the end of Queen Street is Carfax Square. Here there is a degree of viscosity as some people sit on benches or take photos, whilst others walk right through. The meeting together of four shopping streets and the presence of Carfax Tower mean that Carfax Square acts as a key focal point for Oxford, and thus as a location for much social activity to occur. From Carfax Square, we will now progress down the High Street. Here there is a very irregular building theme, with no straight projection. Many buildings have overhangs, which creates an interesting and unusual experience in the built environment. From the High Street, we will now exit into the market. This is an example of an enclave, as allows free passage between the main through fair of the High Street and the more enclosed passageway through the market. Whilst progressing down the passageway, the space, or territory, is occupied by a range of different features, fruit for sale, shoe racks and dining furniture, all owned by the various different businesses that are present. As we exit onto Market Street, there is a closed vista of Jesus College. The high walls and magnificent architecture make any part of through stop and take a break. Further along Market Street we find Exeter College, which acts as a key point of deflection and arouses excitement over what may lay around the corner. This point of deflection leads us onto Tell Street. On this road there is a strong sense of here and there, as the street joins the much wider and more expansive Broad Street. Walking onto Broad Street, this couldn't be more apparent, so the space is very open in comparison and there is a mix of architectural styles. It is perhaps the point on the route which provides the most contrast and shock for the user. Moving further down Broad Street, the space becomes narrower and we come across the Shalonian Theatre. Here, the high fencing gives a real distinction between private and public space. Moving on to the Shalonian Theatre courtyard, the lack of furniture or props and the towering open vista of the Bodleian Library make the user feel a bit overwhelmed. We will now progress towards the Bodleian Library. This passageway provides a vital link between the external space of the Shillonian Theatre Courtyard and the internal space of the square situated within the Bodleian Library. The square itself has a high degree of enclosure in that it acts as a sanctuary of quietness and tranquillity compared to the outside world. In conclusion, Oxford has a real sense of place. Together, the universities, the on-street entertainment and the variety of goods and services for sale mean that streets are always bustling and users feel a part of something greater. Oxford is therefore a place that is an absolute pleasure to visit, shop in or socialise in. These findings will be integrated into future design projects such as the Grand Pond Scheme. I will therefore make sure that all parts of a scheme are fully integrated into social networks and there are as many hubs and focal points as possible.